Humans are difficult to understand. They choose a hardwood floor that doesn't stand up to pets, and we get blamed when it gets ruined. Is it my fault they picked a smooth, dark, shiny floor that shows everything? Not only does every tiny scratch and paw print show, but when I shed my winter coat, they're constantly waking me up with a vacuum. Let's go to the dog community to see what they think of hardwood flooring. I'm homeless because my owners bought a made-in-China hardwood floor at the big box store. After a couple of years, the finish wore off, and they blamed me. The next thing I know, they dropped me off at the shelter, and here I am, homeless. Had they Googled dog-friendly hardwood flooring, they'd have gone to Gaylord's, and I'd still be loving the good life. The secret is to pick the perfect floor, not a perfect floor. Unlike the big box and carpet stores, Gaylord knows and understands everything about hardwood. How can someone who's never gotten close enough to wood to get a sliver give good advice? It's obvious from their website they are different from all the rest of the people selling hardwood flooring. All of their floors are rated for traffic – light, moderate, and heavy, which includes dogs and wheelchairs. There are four key points. One, choose a wood with a Janka ranking not less than 1,000. Harder woods dent less, but it must be realized you walk on the finish and not the wood. A high-quality, durable finish will protect the wood for many years. Flooring manufactured offshore, especially in China, usually has a very poor quality finish that most often won't stand up to pets, especially dogs. Not only do they have a poor quality finish, but the flooring can be full of toxic chemicals which are harmful to humans and pets. Don't get me going about China. Humans don't get it. Who is the bigger polluter in the world? What country has no human rights? Not to mention what they think of us pets. Which takes me to my next point. First, choose a country or tavern grade with natural character like knots, cracks, checks, and color variation will disguise small imperfections. 3. Wire brushing. Removes the softer wood from the open grain, leaving a textured finish which gives us more grip and less sliding. 4. The matte finish limits the light reflection on the floor. Woods with little or no grain, like maple, can't be wire brushed, but if finished in the 1850 collection in a country grade with the matte finish, the scratches and blemishes become less noticeable. Gaylord takes pets seriously and have floors that best handle us. Push this button and get amazing information about your project. You can't go wrong doing things right. Even though you don't have a pet now, you may change your mind in the future, so choosing Gaylord Pet Friendly is a good idea. We hope this information has been helpful. Please call or email for information more detailed to your region and project. Now, if you'll excuse me, I got a cat I gotta go chase. Woo! Woo!